Inflation battered shoppers turn to dollar stores for groceries. Now, there's technically nothing wrong with people shopping at grocery stores. It will save a lot of money. The biggest issue with shopping at grocery stores or potentially being forced to shop at grocery stores because it's cheaper is that you don't really get anything fresh and a lot of the items are just really unhealthy. Like, very, very unhealthy. It's pretty much like cakes, ramen, chips, maybe some Hot Pockets. Like, there's really nothing good, right? So high prices in the supermarket aisles for basic food items like eggs, milk, and butter have driven more shoppers to seek out bargains at dollar stores, according to a recent study. More than one in five shoppers have turned to low-budget brands like Dollar Tree and Dollar General to restock their fridge, according to Corsite Research's weekly consumer U.S. consumer tracker. The price of a dozen eggs has shot up year over year by 60% to an average of $4.25, while both milk and butter have spiked 31% since last year, according to the government data. Which is kind of crazy. Imagine spending anywhere close to $4.25 for eggs. A Dollar General in the Bronx sells a dozen cage-free eggs for $4.95, compared to $6.99 at a nearby stop and shop. A 15-ounce tub of, I can't believe it's not butter, you should never ever really eat that, was $4 at the Dollar General store, compared with $5.19 at the same stop and shop in the Kingsbridge section of the Bureau. A gallon of whole milk was $3.90, or $1.29 cheaper than at the supermarket. Generally, dollar stores do not carry as many fresh items as traditional grocery stores, but that's changing. Yeah, I mean, I guess, I think it really depends on maybe the size of the dollar store. But at the same time, they really go after, like, they basically source a lot of their items either from, like, wholesale that got basically discarded or, in a way, like, sources that are not the traditional thing. Like, they'll have, like, very off-brand chips, somewhat like Cheetos, but not really Cheetos. Like, it varies, but, like, they try to go for, like, the very off-off brands to basically try to get things at the cheapest possible price. Let's see. Dollar stores have been adding more refrigeration units to their stores and expanded their offerings to include healthier foods and fresh produce. Now, personally, I have never seen fresh produce in a dollar store ever, but hey, if they're adding that, good on them. So according to a CNBC report citing Corsite data, another study by Placer.ai showed foot traffic to the dollar stores in January increased 19.1% compared to January 2020 before the start of the pandemic. And last September, foot traffic was up 14% compared to September 2021, the data show. So the dollar store brands could see even more growth this year, according to Ethan Chernovsky, Senior Vice President of Market at Placer.ai, a data analytics firm. If the two retailers continue to improve the quality of their fresh food while maintaining the low prices associated with their brands, there's a high chance it will bolster their value proposition with their existing consumer base and also pull in new customers from higher price retailers, the Placer.ai report said. Here's the thing. The main way for dollar stores to really like absorb more customers from the big box stores is if they're able to source on the cheap meat and vegetables and fruit. If they're able to get those three for very cheap, it's like a massive game changer. Shoppers have been buying less expensive items, giving up beef in some cases, which, you know, it kind of seems kind of crazy because, I mean, beef is still pretty cheap per pound in relation to a lot of other things. And you could, like, basically, you could get cheap beef if you time when you buy it as best as possible. 
So you basically buy kind of near the expiration date or for sale date by the big box stores and they tend to have it on clearance because it basically needs to be sold that day and you can either cook it that day or freeze it and you can save like two, three dollars on like a ten dollar pack of meat of whatever, basically. You can pretty much save like 20% is the best way to put it. You can pretty much save 20% of whatever price you normally pay for that amount of meat. Let's see. Let's see. Even affluent consumers earning six figure paychecks have said they are living paycheck to paycheck due to higher cost of goods. The thing is, I feel like anyone who's making six figures and they're living paycheck to paycheck is because they're living beyond their means. So while Walmart remains the largest grocery retailer in the US, the dollar stores nevertheless made some progress against Walmart over the past year in the food and beverage categories, according to a pricing study by Gordon Haskett analyst Chuck Grom, comparing Walmart and the dollar stores. Let's see some of these comments. My daughter-in-law is a manager at a Dollar Tree. They cannot keep their merchandise on the shelves. They also can't find reliable people to work for more than two weeks. That is pretty horrendous. Now, this is also the issue, is that typically the location of a lot of these like dollar stores are in areas that are not really good, right? There's probably a lot of criminal history. There's probably a lot of drug activity. There's probably a lot of just... Honestly, people not making much money in those areas. And here's the thing. Like, I went to a dollar store not too long ago, and there was basically nothing on the shelves, which shocked me. I was like, whoa, (laughs) what is going on here? There's, like, nothing here. There's, like, no tuna, no, like, pasta, no sauce, like, nothing. Like, there was, like, basically nothing except for, like, zebra cakes inside the store. I was like, what is going on here? So there's definitely more people buying from dollar stores. But at the same time, like dollar stores will only get this boost in traffic, like foot traffic, more customers for a limited amount of time. What they really need to do is, again, really go after the fresh market. Because if they're able to do that, they're going to get access to way more customers than they were getting before. Because you got to think about it, like 99% of what is inside a dollar tree or dollar store is very heavily processed food that pretty much does not go bad for like ever, right? And typically, the people who tend to buy those types of food are people who are really not making that much money because they're basically forced to buy that type of food. But if you start getting into more like middle class and upper class and you get those customers in, one, you're going to be able to bring in way more revenue for each dollar dollar store, but they lean more so towards fresher ingredients, right? But if they could save like a dollar or two dollars per pound or whatever on these items, that would mean the road to them and you're going to get way more traffic. The only thing is, I don't know where they would potentially like source these ingredients on the cheap. Like, I don't know where you would source beef on the cheap, or vegetables on the cheap, or fruit on the cheap, to where they could be more competitive than, let's say, like a Walmart. Like, that's the issue. 